What's going on guys, Trusty Canuck here. I am making a loot tutorial for you guys uh, to go along with the map that I just made. Uh, it's for the underground radio tower, underground part of the map on reserve map. And nobody knows about it. So if you wanna do this, you'll make a ton of money. You'll be one of the first people to do it. It is recommended, however, if you're gonna do this run uh, that you take the cliff descent extract. When you do this, you will need uh, the paracord. You can't have body armor and you need to have the red rebel ice pick. Um, you don't, it's not a requirement for the run. You also don't need any keys for the run, but it makes it the easiest to extract when you're done. Uh, so to start, we're going to look at this North pond building. If we take the radio tower for a point of reference, it's the one closest to it. It's also known as the barracks building. And all you're going to want to do is go downstairs and I'm going to show you guys, uh, every point of loot in this map. And here we have some weapons, weapon attachments on these tables. You also have some tools. Uh, continuing along here, you have a lot of um, ammo boxes. In here, you sometimes have tools and fuel, ammo boxes scattered around. You have provisions in this room. You also have two duffel bags. If you continue along the way, you have a small tool room here. You're going to have maybe a weapon spawn here and also some loose ammo here. I've never seen anything spawn in this room. And there's actually two ways down to the basement here to start your route. And uh, this normally spawns soap or um, bathroom items. And if we continue down here, there's one toolbox down to the right. Continuing along this way, sometimes you'll find filters on the ground here along with fuel. We have a four x four weapon box here. We sometimes have ammo uh, boxes spawning here and on here and if we continue down here this is where it starts to get interesting you sometimes have provisions that spawn in this box and we're going to keep on going down to the ground going through this door make sure that it's closed if it's open you know somebody came through here before you you sometimes have uh, ammo or provisions in there sometimes there's provisions on this barrel uh, continuing along here this room at first may not look like it has a whole lot uh, but it actually spawns filters, fuel, tubes, uh, things like that in these holes, as you can see right here. Uh, it's definitely worth looking. There's also motors that spawn here. You'll also find tubes, filters, hoses right here. Um, continuing this way. This hallway never has anything as far as I'm aware of. I like to come uh, in this room first. On the ground here, you'll find relays and caps, things like that. Over here, you'll find filters, fuel, and motors. And if you go downstairs, this is the my favorite part of the run. Um, you'll find tubes and things like that on that table there. Continue along this way. You'll find military loot, such as uh, SGs, uh, military circuit boards, things like that. Uh, in these two jackets, I'm not sure if this is a thing or not, but um, I find a lot of keys in this jackets. I think it's a running theory that these are key jackets and you find keys often in these jackets. I found very good keys in these jackets. So get excited about that and check it out. There's also a duffel bag here. And uh, guys, uh, for this route, this goes along with a map that I made. Check it out, link in the description. And I think you guys will benefit from checking that out and watching this over a couple times. Um, continuing to this big room here. This is actually a really nice spot. Caps, relays spawn on boxes in this room. Uh, we'll see relays spawning on here. Always check in these compartments. You'll find phased array elements on those compartments in these, uh, these things here. You'll find folder with intelligence in here. We have a toolbox. And always check for uh, array elements in these compartments. Continuing up here, we have more spots for array elements. I always just run around and check them. And there's one now. Continuing this way, we have another toolbox. We have more spots for the uh, phased array elements. We have another toolbox and more spawns. I, I think the most I found at once is two, but I'm sure you can maybe get lucky and find more than that. You have a toolbox here. You have a chance for relay spawns on there. And keep your eyes on the ground because relays also spawn on the ground along this run. Um, coming in here, you have a spawn for folder with intelligence there. You have a safe, relays and things like that spawn on these shelves here. You have folder uh, with intelligence here, and you have a PC. So there's uh, three spawns for the folders with intelligence just in this room here. 
If we continue out of this room, this is where the ORB2 and ORB1 key spawn. Now I'm 99% sure uh, that I know where the ORB2 key is. I found it once and I kind of forgot where it was, but we have uh, fuel filters, relays, things like that spawning in this hallway here. In this door, you have one duffel bag and the ORB2 key spawns right here. I'm 99% sure if you guys can give me a screenshot of that to confirm, that would be very nice. I've been looking for a couple weeks and I couldn't find it. You'll find fuel and stuff spawning on everything in here, so make sure to take a look. Uh, the ORB1 key spawns right here. You'll sometimes find bulbs and relays over here. Continuing along the run, we have a couple more things to look at. Uh, military loot will spawn on this filing cabinet on top of this filing cabinet and in the shelves here. So look there, you'll find military circuit boards, uh, military gyroscopes or whatever they're called, all the military loot spawning there. Weapon attachments, I often find suppressors on these boxes here. And in here, sometimes I'll find uh, ammo boxes. So uh, next thing we're gonna wanna do is just run up. This will take you to the top of the radio tower. And we're just gonna run all the way to the top to finish off our run. And I'll show you guys how I normally finish it. There's one more toolbox if you wanna check here. Uh, definitely take a look on here. Sometimes I find plexiglass. Sometimes you'll find uh, fuel on the ground in here. And if you continue up these stairs and out of here, now, if these doors are closed and I don't feel like I got the best loot, sometimes I'll come in here and loot these buildings. If you have a key, this one requires a key. Uh, but if not, your extract is just to the right over here. The cliff descent extract along this fence. And that will take you out in seven seconds. You just completed your run. I hope you guys enjoyed, learned something, and find this useful. If you did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe. Check me out on Twitch, Trusty Canuck on Twitch. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.